Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So 24 hour sale, it's today. My host code is right there and I'll put it back up at the end and I'll also add it to the live. Um, DCKSKCG7 is the code when you go to my, my page, which is gailoneal.stampinup.net and let's get stamping. So let me get rid of this. Uh, one of these days, I am really going to know how to do it. Aha. Uh -huh. So there we are. So the first card I'm doing, and oh my God, look at this. How many sets? One of the sets that I'm using, because, you know, who thought to plan it that I would have used sets from this, but uh, Rooted in Nature is one of them that I will be doing. Um, let's see. This can hit the floor. Never see it again. All right, so let it ride. This is the card, but I'm going to try and move things over a little bit. The DSP designer series paper is wrapped in plaid. And I'm using a different little piece. And then for the card itself, which I love to find things to use this for is the gold foil edged card with matching envelope. Love these. It comes in gold and silver. Okay. So of course, you know, like some things I pre-cut. So that was with our ovals in the gold foil. So let me set this aside. This can actually go aside. Oh, very easy here. If I find everything, gotta love me, right? Okay. I've got piles here. So we're using soft suede and black. And I'm going to take the horse. And let's see. Let's see how I want that. Right there. Hi, Lou. So there's our little horse. And I'm going to take our blends. And I'm using the dark and light soft suede. So I'm going to take some of the dark and just just kind of bring some dark color in and then like around his jaw and wherever they gave us these wonderful lines a little like into his schnoz And then we're going to take the light and just color them in. Hi, Marty and Sandy. So just blending it and then I'm going to throw in a little bit more dark. Are you seeing it okay? Because I think I can bring it down a little bit, although mine isn't as easy as the one Lou uses. She goes and it moves. Yeah, I love this stamp set too. Okay, so now I just want to smooth everything out a little bit. Let 
and come back with the little bit of the dark. And it really is an easy image to, oh, I left off his, his ear. Easy image to color. It's quick coloring. Okay. So the horsey is done. So now we're going to take, if I can find it, yep. There it is. So I'm going to take this happy birthday from Itty Bitty Birthdays. No. Yes, Itty Bitty Birthday. See, I have extras from my mistakes. Because uh, I never stamp straight on camera. But that's straight enough. Okay. So we're going to take this piece, this we're going to snip that way, and that way we're going to make it easy. And I think I want him more over here this time. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take my brush which I, I don't know why I put it away. And I'm going to take a little bit of the crushed curry. And just get rid of some of that white. Oh, a little too much there. So we're going to even it out. little darker than I wanted but that's okay and I'm going to do the same thing on here okay so now we're going to take our glue and I'm going to put him more towards the middle And then put some glue on this. This goes right around there. Stay. Okay, and then we're doing everything flat on this card. Put that at an angle, bring this back over, see the other side is nice too. But it's not just for Christmas this paper. So there's Card number one, done. Ta-da! Yeah, and I do like it more that way, for sure. So this is the card. And I'll show you the little, little tricks. I pre-cut the fish so it would make it easier. Maybe when I'm set up in Florida, I'll be able to do things in front of you. Okay, so that's our little backing. Here's the piece of Christmas DSP, also from, um, yep, wrapped in plaid. So let's prepare before we do this, and we're going to color the fish, if I can remember what I colored it. 
<laughs> Don't you love me? All right, so we're going to stamp the happy birthday. Stick that aside so it's ready. And see if we get it straight. We did. Thanks, guys. We got it straight. Okay, so these were die cut from the same set that comes with Best Catch. Did I show you even the stamp set? I don't think so. There's Best Catch. So it's got, you know, the fisherman, the hat, all that good stuff. And then it has... Mm, yeah. It's got all these dies that go with it. It doesn't cut out one of the things that cuts out the fish. No, it cuts out the hat. I think it does cut out almost everything. Never mind. Ignore me. Just ignore me. All right. So I am going to take black, basic black marker, and I'm going to take first the brush side and just color those. And I did them in black because the brown really doesn't show up. And then what I did, so these aren't so like blah plain. I just took the fine edge and just sketched in some lines. Don't have to be an artist because trust me, I'm not. You just have to think of some ways or watch somebody who thinks of it for you. And I did. Okay, so I just sketched them in like that. Stay. And everything is falling. Hey, I didn't see Sue on. Is she watching from the living room? Oh, update on the house. Um, they are going to pay for the roof. And we are splitting the cost of what has to be done to the septic. And I'm a happy camper. Okay. So that just puts a little bit more detail into that. So we don't need this one because I didn't make a mistake. And let's color this. So I used, I used, I don't know. I think I used this one too. A uh, little bit of light granny apple green, light old olive. I'm not sure if I used the dark old olive but I'm going to try and recreate what I did because I don't know I don't remember so I colored this in in the light crumb cake I might have been a little bit neater the first time I don't know why when I get like on camera like it's never as neat um so i did some of that over there and i did more of it over here but it just looks so much lighter on the other card that i don't know why so i put some in here as well but then i did like more greens over it so let's see what can height so we're just going to color in oh I think I might have thrown blue into it I don't know that's what I didn't write down because sometimes when you're coloring like it doesn't look right, so you just add something else or add something else or mix this and that. I mean, that's at least what I do. I 
Okay, so then we're going to take and give it a little bit of shading. So this is the light granny apple. And I'm just going into the places where it looks like it would be darker. And then I colored in like his spots, but really you're just putting dots. There's no real coloring in. And get his fins. And I think they're definitely easier to color before you um, cut them out. But for time's sake, and then I like to cut this little piece out because I think it looks funny. So it looks a little bit better that way. And you could trim more of the white off. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, makes me happy. All right, so I just want to blend in a few of those white spots that I missed. And just put a little bit more shading where I didn't. where I think I used the same color, so it didn't really show. Okay, he is done enough. So the only other thing to, it's hiding, the hat, it's right in front of me. So we are going to stamp that in black as well and give that a quick color hi ivy hi dawn sonia okay so let's color this guy in guy it's a hat so again look at me going out of the lines because you're all watching Oops, I want to bring some in from that side. And like I said, I'm getting so used to, oh, that was supposed to be the dark. I'm getting so used to the other markers that it's kind of hard to go back and forth. But I must, I must. Okay, so now we're going to go back in with the light. And it always dries a little bit lighter. And then with the blends, you do have to blend a little extra. Okay, so that is going to, the original one, I spent a little bit more time with it, still with these colors, but it will dry a little lighter in there. And then we're going to fussy cut it out. I can feel it drying under my fingers. I really can't. I have no feeling in my fingertips. Well, very little. Okay. So we've got the hat. So let's put it together. So first we're going to take some balmy blue. I'm going to move that. We're going to bring out the handy dandy makeup brushes. and make some sky. 
because that fish is not jumping out of water. He's jumping out of Christmas DSP. But this is a real masculine card. I've got red fingerprints. It's a good thing that that gets covered up. And I don't know, like I didn't touch anything red. I bet it's on here. Okay, so we're going to take that. This is two by five, this piece. So you could get three out of your little six by six paper. And we're going to put that, you know what, I want that just the way this one cut. There's that gold line up on top and I want it, I want it there. Move too much. Okay. So now these little guys that we doctored. So one is going to go there, our little fish. Is going to go kind of underneath. Okay. Our happy birthday, we're also going to tone down a little bit with some blue. God, I love these brushes. Love, love, love. Okay, so. And mine were from Amazon. Ten bucks. Maybe eleven. But I think I found some on there for even cheaper. When I was looking it up for a friend. Okay, so then we're going to take this hat. Maybe I could fit two on there. Eh, we'll see how one does. You know me and my... And I don't like that white piece that I left there, so... I'm just going to fix that. Should have gone around it. The original one, I um, I left a white border. This one, I don't know, I forgot. Okay, so then, oh, okay, we got to do something different with that one because I tucked that. Oh, that can get tucked right in there. Genius. Okay. See how things work out. They just work. Okay, so we're going to tuck that into there. So now we've got this masculine card. We're going to put this down onto the shaded spruce. So this was my normal five by three and three quarters, and then five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then we're going to attach it to the card. Oops. And we're going to attach everything to the piece of white paper because there's now glue on it. So there's our masculine birthday card with Christmas DSP paper. So let's set this aside. 
And of course, I'll bring everything back after. So for our last card, we're using Rooted in Nature, which is the one that is 15% off. And that's just on the set, not, not the dies. This is such a worthwhile set to have, though. There's so much you can do with it. So let me get rid of this a little bit. You know what? It was free to me. Okay. So this is the card right there. I am going to try to make it just a hair lighter with the technique that I'm doing. But who knows if it'll work. So let me set, well, I think I'll do the other pieces first. So we're going to take crumb cake. And I actually meant to do one because this does not have a die. So not on the card base, Gail, on the scrap. So we're going to stamp one and two. Ew, ew, it's got a booger. So we're going to clean it. And do it again. Better. Okay, so we're going to need that one. And I'm going to save that for the end so I can show you the technique. So this Christmas paper, does anybody recognize it? Brightly gleaming specialty paper. And that's just the back side of it. Okay, so we're going to bring in the Stamparatus. And I am going to set it up this way. So then hopefully, so I made, but I'm going to reset it because things have shifted. So what I do is I make a template okay then I take my piece my stamp and you can fit it right in there and feel that it's there and then pick it up then I'm going to take one that I've cut out. So you can actually, if you wanted to make a bunch of these, you could do that easy. All right, so let me grab my little daubers. We need the green, the yellow, and I think that one. Yep. Okay, so we have Old Olive. And... I think I'm going to use a little of the crumb cake also. What I'm missing is my Cajun craze that was here. There it is, hiding. Okay. So I'm going to start out with the crushed curry. And because it's the lightest color, you can, you know, really put as much as you want. And I'm just dabbing it onto the stamp. I just want that to get a little darker. 
and silly me didn't clean the stamp so I am already getting some of the other colors which is fine all right so now I'm going to take some old olive and just dab it here and there maybe a little bit more and you can kind of see you just look down and and see where it's going so I want to keep the um, Cajun craze a lot lighter than I did in the first one so I'm going to dab quite a bit off and very lightly put it in a few spots much better all right so i'm going to go back to the green and i can see like in these areas it needs a little more Now you can also do this with a marker. Okay, and then I want to take, if I can find, I'm hoping this will work. Nope, that's also green. All right, so I'm going to do something different. But this is early espresso and I want a lighter one. Okay, soft suede. So I'm going to take the brush end of the soft suede and get that bottom in since I didn't have a dauber handy. Okay, so that looks kind of good to me. So now I've got this. Let me shut these so I don't wear them. I'm wearing them anyway. All right, so what I did is took the fine end and I just kind of went in where the branches are a little bit. Um, you can also do that on the Stamparatus, which I think is what I did the first time. But I just want some of those branches. So I'm just kind of sketching where they are, throwing some in. You can kind of see them. And since it was kind of light there, I'm going to throw some in there too. Okay, so now let's put the card together. Oh, I still have to um, cut out. All right, so we're going to do this. Don't teach me for like goofing off. I was like, I'm all set. But this is quick. You could also take a... Um, a punch or a die and cut it out with a border but I didn't like the look of that so I would rather cut it wanted to do something you could rough up the edges of this and make it you know distressed which is such a great idea why didn't I think of it before 
but what I will do, maybe I will. Let's see. And I think what I'll do is take the blends. On certain things, I really do like to use the blends to like go around the edges because it soaks in and gives it a different look. Other than that, I would use the regular markers. So let's take the crumb cake, maybe. Let's try the crumb cake. Okay, so that's one. And then one of them we have to stamp on yet. I can't see my phone. My phone fell over, so. Let's see. You get a paper cut doing what? Going around the edges like that? Really? Nah. Okay. Let's cover that up. And then we're going to stamp Thinking of You on one of them with Cajun Craze. So right there, yes, all right, let's put this little baby together. And if you do get a paper cut, I, I don't know why people get grossed out, but being a secretary for um, 33 years, crazy glue immediately on your paper cut. And it'll close it. It won't bleed. It won't hurt the next day like paper cuts do. Yup. Best thing ever invented. And I pre-cut, there it is. So we're going to put this down. And I'm using a piece of tear tape. So you just want to lay that down straight. <laughs> I said straight. Burnish it a little bit so you know it's going to stay. And we're going to put that right to the mat. And we're going to cut off the excess. So if you do it like that, it saves you from the bulk of having the bulk in the back. It's a little wavy, but you know. Okay. So that is also going down flat. And then one's going to go there, one's going to go there. So, I just kind of say like so, but my friend Dawn is like, like so. Yep, it, it does work, Kathy. It does work. 
Okay, so I want to try something just so that because I'm popping it up, but you see how like here you have more of a layer than you have here. So this extra one is going to be just part of it. And I'm hoping it's enough. Hoping. Hoping. All right, so we're going to put that in the back. And I probably could have used just a little more, a little less here and a little more there, but it is what it is. We need a half of one there. Right there. See, you thought I wasn't going to use my tricky little tool. Mm -mm. And that's going to go right there. And that did keep it a little better doing that. Okay, so that's the final card. And if you wanted to put little doodads, I have all these doodads. I just never use them. Hardly ever. I don't know why I buy them. Okay, so let me bring the three cards back. So we've got the one, the two, and oh, that's last week's card. And the three. Like that. So there's our three cards for tonight. I hope you enjoyed. Just something a little bit different than... Christmas, but using Christmas paper. So, you know, it's not going to all go to waste if you don't use it up. And I will be back on Sunday. Don't forget about the sale. If you're interested, you can go to my website. I'll post more um, and more of what I used after. And it'll all be on YouTube later tonight. Um, and I'll be back Sunday with, you know, my motto. I don't know what but it'll be something. See you then, everybody. Good night.